Hey everyone, um, we're going to do another stream going over Bitcoin and alts, um, especially with CPI coming tomorrow. I'm going to give some potential setups, um, looking at coins that I'm interested in, and hopefully, you know, we get some bids um, filled either before or after a CPI report comes out. But before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that I'm currently running two challenges right now. Um, or not a challenge, but I'm doing a personal 500 to um, $10,000 challenge myself. Um, I decided I will be doing a copy trader once I have 75 signups and 50 active traders using my link. Until that happens, I'm just going to be doing my own thing. The other thing that I'm currently going is I'm doing a uh, giveaway. So every single month I will be giving away an item. Uh, it could range from, you know, this month being a fossil watch to next month being AirPods, iPads, um, iPhones, MacBooks. Um, the more engagement and interest that I get from people signing up um, to do these giveaways, the uh, more expensive and more gracious the prize will be. All you have to do is use my referral link, uh, fill out this Google form with your user ID so I can contact you once you win, and that's it. You just have to trade, and that's it. Um, so let's get back to um, charts. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. Okay, so we had a rip today, and we actually, you know, topped right at resistance here. Okay, now this was a perfect currently double top. Um, it was a, let's make this a little bigger. We did have a supply zone here. All right, this supply zone has still um, not been broken. So I would be careful getting into longs, especially with CPI coming out tomorrow. Um, usually when this happens, I like to sit on the sidelines and just wait for you know price action to develop. Um, I'm not looking to long anything unless we flip this supply to support. Okay, we've had resistance. We have not flipped it yet. Um, where do I want to get long? I want to get long here. This four hour OB. I may front run it a little bit because that's what's been happening lately with my plays. They've just been missing. Okay, so I'm going to possibly get into a long around 17.5. So right here. Okay, this was the breakout and retest previously. It's been support. It'll be an SR um, attempt here. So I would like to get long here with my stops below 17K. Okay. And we're going to target 20K. Now, t uh, take profit levels are not going to be hit. Okay. Um, if this fills tomorrow, I would like to take profit around this range, this supply zone again. And then the next take profit will be here. All right. So two areas where I'm looking to get long. That's going to be, let's add some confluence. I'm looking to get long at this OB. Actually, again, as I said, I'm front running this here. Stops below 17K. And we'll be targeting higher. Um, now, watch price action. You know, if CPI comes above expected, it's going to be bad and there's going to be blood in the market. So um, just keep your eyes out and don't overexpose yourself in the markets. I'm looking to long there. Again, my stop is only 2.5%. I'm not going in heavy. I'm only risking a max 2% of my portfolio here. Um, no DCA, just long there, stops there. Or if it's positive, I expect a quick, swift move up. This is still resistance here. So unless we flip the supply to support, that's where I'm looking to long. So this is a confirmation play. This is a limit order. Okay. So we're going to be limiting 17.5, around 17.515, um, and your stops will be below 17K. Otherwise, if 18.4K gets flipped to support, that's where you'll be longing. Stops are still undetermined. Um, need price action to develop before you can place your stops on Bitcoin. 
Um, I'm not looking for shorts right now. We've been bullish, so I'm looking to long pullbacks currently. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin dominance. Um, on the weekly, Bitcoin dominance has broken out. We were on support for a good amount of time before we broke out. So let's go a little bit on... This is resistance right now. So I expect Bitcoin dominance to outperform here, uh, meaning Bitcoin is going to outperform alts. Okay, I expect to go probably to about 40. Now this is a weekly chart, so bear that in mind. Okay, um, around 44 percent, and then higher to 46. So this doesn't necessarily mean that. Um, Bitcoin is going to go up. Um, alts could take a hit and profits could be rotating into Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin market cap will go um, higher as, as opposed to alts. So this could play out both ways. Um, if Bitcoin dominance is rising, Bitcoin price is rising, alts are going to take a hit. Okay, so keep that in mind and be mindful of what positions you're in and how um, exposed you are. Alts have been doing pretty well. Bitcoin dominance has been ranging. Okay. Now low time frame could look like a bear flag and we could just dump here and alts could still keep going up. Um, so again, I'm not overexposed in alts right now. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that rotation of, of profits from these alts into, into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, that being said, I'm also, you know, keeping my bearish perspective open as well. Um, the dollar is in my monthly support range. Okay. I expect a bounce here, um, but this could still go all the way down to 101. Um, in that, in that, while well, I, you know, meantime, uh, crypto assets or equities could continue their rally. Um, so this could go up here. So I'm expecting something like this. Honestly, I'm expecting it to go here, um, and just range for a little bit before we have that breakout bottom, um, for me is still not in now, you know, this is a bear rally, so we can go as high as, you know, 25 K 30 K by the end of the year. Um, I'm not looking for those. Uh, major, major long opportunities yet. If you do want to get into, you know, um, spot positions, you can gradually DCA. I'm still waiting for my confirmation. I'd rather have an uptrend where I am confident in, you know, the market going higher before I get into these these uh, positions. Um, yes, I have exposure in Bitcoin and Ethereum from below, um, so I'm just writing those out for, for spot, but um, we can still go much higher than expected, um, and a lot of people are waiting for lower. A lot of people were waiting for much lower when Bitcoin was at 15k, ETH was at, you know, 1100. Um, they didn't buy because they were, you know, arrogant and, and lower prices. And I must say, I was a little bit as well, but I still decided to buy a little bit. Um, but lower prices could come, could not come, right? So it's, it's good to have spot exposure um, and, and gradually DCA. So I expect, you know, uh, the dollar to go down to a 101 level before a rally higher. Now, Ethereum is is interesting. Um, I did not get stopped out in this position. I posted this in the discords and on Twitter. I said if we were able to clear these highs, right, and swing failure back down and cause a deviation, that's where my trigger would start. I did not get triggered on this Bitcoin short. We went to almost these highs here, 1423. That was my level. Um, now I'm looking at a few things here. All right. So this resistance level at 1350 is still resistance. We have not flipped it to support. So I am looking for. Here's the breakout candle, right? I want to see a retest of this level.
close above and go higher okay that's where I will be longing if I'm unable to get a retest and close above then where I will be longing is going to be down here we may actually bounce here we could have something like this as well just bounce you know up here reject and then go down so you could take a scalp long at this level at 1337 ish close and tight stops at 1312 right and play a little bit higher now again scalps um, are meant for quick uh, profit taking so a 1% 2% move is plenty right um, if you guys are getting greedy and trying to hold for full TPs for scalps you're going to lose a lot of capital now my major play that if we do not retest here and you know deviate back into this range and below this resistance I would like to get long at 1275 ish and stops would be about 1225 that's a swing play and I'm going to be targeting 1700 why 1700? You have all this untapped liquidity. Okay, so I will be doing something like this my swing play if we do deviate back into the range let me delete this that is again if we do not flip this to support if we deviate back close below this resistance come back reject then I'm looking to long here otherwise I'm watching reaction here close the daily after we retest above I will trigger myself long stop at 1312 here is 1350 level okay I'm not looking for shorts, right? We have a fair value gap. Uh, it's about 1500 so I'm not going to be looking for shorts until we scalp this level here. Right? I'll hedge myself short if I do end up getting long. Tight, very tight stop. So short 1503 level. A uh, very tight stop at 15.38, about 2%, and then we're gonna, you know, target uh, hopefully 13.50 levels again if we are able to flip it to support, and then maybe we have a new range form here. So that's the analysis for Ethereum. King Avax, um, they had the Amazon partnership, right, and. They actually did break out on the weekly. Sorry, let's do this. So they broke out on the weekly. Hasn't closed yet, so we haven't confirmed the breakout. This could easily dump back into the range. But if we are able to look this on the daily here, I was hoping to get long at $13. Um, I didn't expect this to run like this. So now we're looking at one of two scenarios. All right, so let me remove everything here. Actually, I like my levels. All right. So, if we are able to flip this resistance here at 1568 to support, reclaim it and flip, I will get long with tight stops. Otherwise, I'm looking at an SR SR flip at 1440 to 1435. I would like to set some bids down there. Now, these are um, long term bids. Uh, I'm playing this on spot, even though this is a perp chart. Um, I would like to place bids at 1440 all the way down to 12. Um, DCA at 13, and then DCA at 12 again. Spread my um, bids evenly. And hopefully we can write this to about $20, $24. Now, 
Um, I would I'm going to scalp long, or I'm going to long this at 1440. My stop would probably be Thirteen seventy. It's a very wide stop, um, but again, here's the confirmation that I have here. Uh, it would be an SR flip, right? It would be um, support touch here. I would DCA here the trend line retest, okay? And my stop's going to be you know about five percent. Um, now it doesn't mean I'm going to lose 5%. I'm going to only risk about 3% of my portfolio on this trade. I also have spot exposure if we um, keep going down, so I'm okay with that. But for um, perp, um, get long at 14.40, DCA down to about $14, and then hard stop at 13.60. Take profits are going to be uh, this resistance here at 15.68, 17.4, and $20. Now this is currently on the four hour deviating back into the range. It actually has deviated back in here. Uh, we cleared these highs, closed below. Now looking at uh, 15.68 for rejection, if we do reject here, I expect something like, you know, this. Now this could put out an inverse head and shoulders. So something like that, and then go higher. Okay, so um, spot bids from fourteen forty down to twelve dollars, um, DCAing at uh, thirteen dollars and twelve dollars, and my perp um, trade would be fourteen forty hard stop at thirteen sixty. Now B and B has been impressive. Um, I'm looking at BNB. Um, where to get long if we do have a, a pullback in the markets? There's actually two levels um, here at 275 down to 272. You could scalp that. It's been holding very strong. So this would be the scalp play. It's a 2% stop, very tight. We'll target 290. The other level I'm looking at, I don't know if we will fill this. Let me take a look at the four hour. Yeah. This demand zone here at 259 down to 256. Let's do that. And if the market goes higher, that will be the swing play. Okay, so 260 bearing hopefully no negativity or no you know FUD from Binance. Um, I would like to swing long 259 hard stop at 249 and we'll target $300 and above. And then if we get the scalp play here at 275 down to 272, hard stop at 269.5. And then hopefully we can target 290s to take out this resistance here. All right. That's what I have um, for for Binance. Now, if we don't get any of that, I would like to long the flip of this resistance, um, 290, and then we're going to target these liquidity levels here. That's not straight. And. 318 and 332. That's if we flip here. Hmm. 
possible breakout here on the weekly. We were, I mean, we had wicks here, right? This could easily wake up and close back down. Keep your keep your eye out on this. This could run. Um, so that's the play for for B and B. Uh, let's take a look at link. So I gave the link spot bids to everyone. I said to buy at 589 these were the DCA levels we almost hit the DCA level at five almost 530 um, but it, it filled and we were up almost nine percent today um, well not today over the course of the past five days link looks strong it did break out it did it hasn't flipped this to support yet, right? We had the breakout candle. We never came back to retest it. So if we do come back to uh, 5.89 levels, I go ahead and bid there and stop around 5.3, uh, 5.64, and we'll target this OB. Now I would also short here as well. If we get to 5.72, I'm going to short with a stop above seven. Yeah, just 6.98 and targeting down here. Take obviously take profits at support levels. Same as Link. Litecoin has been strong. It's been in an uptrend. It hasn't lost the trend yet. All right? You can draw so many trend lines here. I would love to get long on Litecoin here. I think they have like um, the halvening coming up in like a hundred and I don't know somewhat days 80 days or something so I would love to get long on link at this demand zone um, so is that 70 let's front run a little bit so 77 down to 75 uh, 70 now this would be a scalp long here this would hopefully be a trend line we would lose this trend line, right? So if we lose this trend line here, uh, short the retest, stop above the, the highest wick that it creates, okay? Um, so something like that. And then you'd long at that demand zone. And then hopefully we go higher. This is a higher wick. We actually did swing failure. Went above that, closed below. If we are able to retest here and reject, I'd look to short. That's only if we reject with your stop above the wick. And hopefully we get down to that level. So there's three three potential plays. Actually, there's actually more. Okay, so one, reject this um, resistance level, right? Previous uh, highs that we swing failured. Reject, close below, open up a market short, stop above the wick here, and you're going to target the trend line. So 81 first, take profit there. This could bounce at this trend line. Why? There is support here. So it could bounce this area. 
Um, that's why we take profit. You could possibly take a scalp long. It's been bouncing off the trend line. Very, very tight scalp long. Uh, so long there stops below this wick here. And again, you're going to play this small little range it's playing. And at that point, it would be making an ascending triangle. Um, two, lose the trend line, short the retest, stop above the highest wick it creates here, target the demand zone here, right? Take profit, open up a hedge long, stop below this wick around 17, uh, 74.58. And then we're going to target higher. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, three plays. That's it for Litecoin. Um, and last but not least, PYR. Everyone and their mothers is talking about this on my Twitter feed. So PYR, previously, resistance, resistance. Okay, demand zone. It broke out, right, 8%. Came back down, flipped this 3.39 or 4 level to support, right? And now it's just going up. Where, it's, I mean, if it wasn't for CPI, I get long in this. You still can. Okay, there's a supply zone there. You still can get long. Um, stops would be below here, so about three three dollars and ten cents would be your your stop. Um, but if this comes back down in this range here, I'd look to to buy some spot and. Right, so like stops would be below. So your play would look something like this. 305. Uh, it's a very wide stop. But it makes sense because you don't want to place it on support. It's like there, all that support, right? It's a little bit below. So 305 is your stop. It's a 10% stop. So don't overexpose. This coin's very volatile. But you'd be targeting this um, supply zone here, and then take out these highs. How does the four-hour look? Yeah, see, it's creating higher highs and higher lows. Here's your trend. Yeah, look, it's got a double bottom formation, too. There you are. So double bottom. Now, if it comes below this here, all right, um, on the daily, and it just keeps playing in this range, and then this becomes res heavy resistance again, and it creates a deviation, right, then it's going to our stop much lower than I look to relong here. So 2.94 down to 2.83. Stops below there. Um, I don't play with these coins, with super volatile coins. Um, so this would be a very small position. But that's what I'm looking for for PYR. So we went over Bitcoin, Ethereum, AVAX, BNB, Link, uh, Litecoin, and PYR. Those are the only coins on my radar. Um, I'm staying away from, from the AI coins. I, I made a good amount of money on, on FET, gave that to you guys, and um, stay away from BIT as well. But yeah, 
those are the only coins I'm looking at. Thank you guys for, for watching this. If you guys do enjoy my content, please consider using my Bybit link. It would help tremendously. And um, like and subscribe. Thank you guys.